Mr. Mr. Mike, Larry O'Brien, it's his sight. Hit that subscribe bell. Don't forget to like it. Detroit Piston, Piston Mike. You know what time it is. You here for the update? Piston Mike, keep you informed. Make sure your substrate. So you don't ever go without the info that you need. Let's see the Pistons rise. To Detroit the top. Basketball. What's, what's good everybody it's your boy piston mike make sure you like share comment subscribe don't cost anything not even nickel or dime shout out to alex for always keeping me updated click the link in the description for your cool piston gear we're gonna get into a very special interesting one so i heard the dallas mavericks podcast talking and the most interesting trade they came up with is josh green for isaiah stewart they both have a poison pill in their contract. They both make about similar salaries. They both contracts kick in on the same time. And they both, Dallas Mavericks, got enough wins. They need more bigs. We don't, we got enough bigs and don't need no, and we need a win. So this could work out. Okay. Isaiah Stewart is, is an okay, solid piece. None, none too crazy, none too special. But I believe it's Josh Green. To me, he's a small four, uh, a shooting guard slash small four. He can play the two or three. Very athletic, can shoot threes, can sell crate for himself. He just got to be more consistent. I think in the bigger role on a different team, he can thrive more. So I would absolutely do this trade in a heartbeat. I wouldn't think twice about it. And it costs nobody, no picks, no nothing. I think it works out for both sides. I think it's an absolute genius, genius move. And I think um, Dallas Mavericks might get mad at first until they see Isaiah Stewart be a really good, solid bench piece off the bench and see what he can provide. And he's got taller. Um, they got centers around him. He'll help you guys win some games, you know. Um, I think him next to Luca and everybody putting him in a winter environment and bring him off the bench, I think that's how he will thrive. I think Josh Green could thrive as a um starting small forward. Um me, I would put I would put Cade Ivy and I would put him at the three, um, Bogey at the four and when Jen Dern come back, put Jen Dern at the five. That will be what I run with, but it'd probably be Wiseman now. But um absolutely love it. Um would absolutely love it. A team that can get down up and down on the floor, play some defense. Um Josh Green's been known there is a really, really, really solid defender. A three and D guy. Something that we need, something that we missing. Um he could explode or make some real noise here. Um that's what I like about this trade. I think this trade will definitely happen. I think it makes the most sense of both got um, both teams. You don't really have to sell your match. They on the same type of contract. I would not be so surprised if this swap happens anywhere by the trade deadline. Some people say Tim Hardaway doing. They're not offering Tim Hardaway doing because I'm not taking it. No way. Um, that's why, like I said, it can be very beneficial for both teams i absolutely like it we need to do this asap we need to do this now and not wait josh green is the type of dude who i think can really explode in detroit and really grow his wings and uh become better here he's a guy who make quick decisions can get to the lane he just gotta be more consistent but if he be more consistent you know he could be a guy that would be very interesting here he definitely would um some people might say he's a shooting guard to me. He can be a shooting guard or small forward with that athleticism. That that that's crazy. He he an athlete, athlete. Like he is you got him and you got a guy like a Sora Thompson, you, you you pretty much got your wings, you know what I'm saying? Two slash three set. Now it's time to go get to the fours and the fives. Um, if you want to build it through the draft, you know, now that's what we need to focus on. I would go ahead and get up a backup. Um, I would get me a starting four and then a backup big. Um, let's draft. Uh, I, I was talking to somebody today. Uh, 
shout out to the guy I work with um, today. I was talking to one of my, um, one of the people I work with, he asked me what, what would I do in this draft? Who gonna go first? And this, that, or third, it's gonna be Alex Starr or Ron Holland. And what I picked somebody for the Pistons, I told him I would trade for a star or all-star um, type of caliber player to bring in. I would either trade out of this draft too, or I would trade back. This is that one type of draft. That's what I would do. I would definitely trade back. And wouldn't think twice about it. So, you know, because I think the next draft of 2025 is crazy. I think it, it get to back. This draft is okay, but that's that's how I'm feeling. But um, we'll see what happens. Um, it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens. Um, a lot of different people um are saying that the Pistons um are getting into trade talks. A lot of trade rumors. A lot of people you you don't know I'll be out here. This is a trade that I definitely would do and not think twice about um, do this in a heartbeat. I think it might happen sooner than later. So um, don't quote me on that, but uh, it makes too much sense. This trade swap can definitely happen. So be on the lookout. It's your boy, Piston Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't cost you anything. Not even nickel or dime. It's your boy. I am out, man. Peace. Let's go. Detroit Barney is part of the culture. It's a deep base. Detroit, you in a poster. You know the facts. So while we test the roaster, killing your haze. Deadly handles our exposure. True composure. Team stack to win the chip. Act like I ain't told you. First round pick, had him sick. K Cunningham. Pass John to Duncan, man. I don't know about y'all, but we come to I'm a Roger Grant. They all jumping in. Pissed in mic. We take your flight. Click like and subscribe. We can keep you right. Yes, Pissed in Mike. Don't encourage him. Tell him to jump. Jump, jump, jump. Van Halen, come on. Go ahead and jump. Right here.